let's begin to review how to acquire the four basic echo views of point of care ultrasound. The first view we're going to talk about is your peristernal long axis view. Using your phased array probe with your indicator to your patient's left hip, place the probe between the third and fourth intercostal space just left lateral to the sternum. This is the image orientation you want to get. You should have your right ventricle on the top of the image, your left ventricle adjacent to it, the left atria, the mitral valve in between, and the aortic valve here. This is what it looks like on ultrasound. Again, your right ventricle on the top of your screen, left ventricle, mitral valve, left atrium, and your aortic valve. Here's a video. Again, your right ventricle on the top, your left ventricle, your left atrium, your mitral valve with the anterior and posterior leaflets of your valve, and your aortic valve. Don't forget that your bright white pericardium will be surrounding your heart. Once you obtain your peristernal long axis view, it's very easy to obtain your peristernal short axis view. All you have to do is rotate your probe 90 degrees clockwise to now have your indicator towards your patient's right hip. This should be your image orientation. You should have your right ventricle on the top of your screen and the left ventricle just adjacent to it. You will only see the two ventricles on this view. Here's what it looks like on ultrasound. Again, the right ventricle here with the left ventricle next to it. Notice your bright white septum in between the two ventricles. Here's what a video will look like. Right ventricle on the top with left ventricle here and your white septum in between. The next view we're going to review is the subsiphoid view. Here, you're going to bring your phase array probe underneath your patient's xiphoid process. You want to indicate her to your patient's right. Tuck the probe underneath the xiphoid process. It will actually help to place your index finger on the top of the probe and using your palm, flatten out the probe, push it up towards the xiphoid process, looking into the chest cavity. You should be able to identify your heart. This is the orientation you will see. Right ventricle, left ventricle, mitral valve, left atria, right atria, and your tricuspid valve. Here's what it will look like on ultrasound. Again, right and left ventricles on the top, mitral valve, your left atria, your right atria, and your tricuspid valve. Here's a video. Again, to orient, the right and left ventricles, the right atrium, left atrium, your mitral valve, and your tricuspid valve. Don't forget that your bright white hyperechoic line will surround your heart and that will be your pericardium. The last of the four views is your apical view. This is often the most challenging view to obtain. To acquire this view, place your phased array probe underneath your patient's left nipple, indicator towards your patient's right. Tuck the probe between that rib space and aim up towards the chest cavity. There are a couple of tips I want to provide. First, when performing your peristernal long, short, or your apical view, when possible, move your patient into the left lateral decubitus position. This will bring your probe closer to your heart, making it easier for you to obtain your view. Another trick when performing these views is have your patient raise their left arm above their head. This will give you more access to obtain your views and often produce better images. Your image should have an orientation like this. The right and the left ventricle on the top, the mitral valve, and your left atrium, your right atrium, and your tricuspid valve. Here's your ultrasound image. Again, right ventricle and your left ventricle, your mitral valve, your left atria, your right atria, and your tricuspid valve. Here's a video. Again, to orient, you have your right and left ventricles on the top, your left atrium and your right atrium here, and your mitral and tricuspid valves in between your chambers. So to review, we went over how to obtain your peristernal long axis view, your peristernal short axis view, your subsiphoid view, and your apical view. So I hope you liked this video. It was taken from our CME accredited Point of Care Ultrasound Essentials course. 
absolutely make sure to check it out and to register for a free trial, which will give you access to selected lessons in the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.